The best comes to those who wait. And ladies and gentlemen, allow me to double down on it. We're finally here, the last stop for the hype train. At long fucking last, Devil May Cry 5 for the PS4. I'm Steven, I've got Sean and Andrew alongside me. Welcome to the DMC5 playthrough. <laughs> and you're going through your sins as you always do. Yeah. <laughs> I have gushed and gushed and gushed about this game non-stop. Oh, so you had to go through. Oh, yes, I, he has. Oh, yes, he went through like five different pairs of pants. <laughs> Get your mind out of the car. <laughs> and here we are, actually. Like, the first thing you get to do is change the color if you've bought the deluxe edition DLC. And also, this will probably this will be our last game of 2019. Uh, How about that? We end what this a way week. to end it. Uh, I we end 2019 with what is considered one of the best in the in the year. This is yeah. absolutely my game of the year for 2019. By the way, this game runs on the RE engine. Yeah, yeah. I will say this: like, I was not expecting that from the development side. Like, I thought the RE engine was unique to RE7. that specific specific style of game, and but then. RE2 comes around and says we'll make a third, third, a third person shooter out of it, action adventure style horror out of it and then DMC's like we'll use the same engine for yeah. a high hack and slash game I'm like oh my god that's amazing cut yeah. to Dante jackpot <laughs> <laughs> so, when does it, so when does this take place after <coughs> several years after 4 I believe by this point Nero's at least in his 20s uh, 25 I think he is yeah, I think so. Dante is now forty. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and what was it like when we did Devil May Cry Three? He's like nineteen. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> and that was Morrison we just uh. saw, who's like, who is a uh, an old friend of Dante's who appears in the anime. Actually. Uh. Okay. He's voiced by Joey Kamen. Unfortunately, that guy's kind of an asshole. Uh. In what way? He got caught using like you know the blackface stuff and using racial slurs, I believe. Oh yeah. Ooh. So yeah, he's an asshole, but. Here we have, here we kick things off with a prologue, and we just saw Dante in trouble there. What am I doing wasting oh, here's, here's your favourite, yep, Johnny on Bosch. Now with 100% more Johnny on Bosch. <laughs> and yes, he's more capping him again, as well as the voice. Here's our new third character. Who the fuck's, who? Discount Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> this is V, a new character. <laughs> yeah, I can't just see the resemblance if Adam Driver was playing this. <laughs> Let the past die, kill him if you have to. This is V, he's a new character introduced in this game. We'll be getting control of him later, but not just yet. He is voiced and motion captured by Brian Hanford. Is that a Griffin? Yeah. Interesting guy. Well, I'll talk more about his gimmick later. Yeah. But first off... I'm gonna score a settle with that son of a bitch! Oh, you seem to be missing your arm there. Did you lose yeah. the... Yeah. The devil burner? So you're saying Nero's been disarmed? Sorry, I couldn't help it. What'd you say? Sorry, I help, <laughs> what you say? <laughs> Trust me, like I have so much fun with this. I really do. Didn't you say that this is this is that you're going to do everything in this, this game? This is it, folks. Nothing but the best for you guys to send off our current journey through the franchise. This will be not only a 100% all collectibles, purple or fragments, secret missions playthrough, but a full... S rank run. Ooh, we got a badass like, yeah. here. <laughs> Fancy. This, yep. Believe me, I, I as soon as I was done with the platinum, I got to work on recording this. I've had the files on this on my PS4 since March, and I still to this day have not deleted them. Ah, oh, you must be really proud of yourself. Yeah. Mm. So this is basically the tutorial sequence if you've never played a Devil May Cry game, yeah. like me. I yeah. highly advise, though, folks. If you have not done so, go and watch the Devil May Cry 1, 3, and 4 playthroughs first because this is the culmination of everything throughout the franchise. Like, this is pretty much the Avengers Endgame of Devil May right. Cry. And I really am not kidding when I say that. This is hype. This is. This is really as the hype train incarnate. <laughs> yeah, before it crashes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so, it's going to do it in style, I'll tell you that much. So how does this handle compared to 4, which it, chronologically is the last major release that we saw? Exactly the same, but it... Didn't this take this after 2? Uh, yeah, they, they retconned They retconned that. it. <laughs> <laughs> there, in the history of DMC on the menu, there's only like one text thing for DMC 2. It's kind of hilarious, actually. But yeah, the game exact handles pretty much the same as DMC 4, only much more improved in every way. Oh, and uh, we don't have charge shot anymore, unfortunately. But you see what you see the bullets lighting up in the top left there under my health. That is a that is the not charge shot, known as color up. 
That hits multiple times. You have to charge it up like charge up, but you can charge it up immediately. Oh, Andrew, here's another thing you love. You can now charge up the sword while running around. Oh, that's and cool. And what you just saw me do there is an air taunt. Nah. These are new for DMC5, and if you press the L2 prop at the proper timing, you can add a level of exceed to the sword during the air taunt. Ah, uh, these guys. A new gimmick. These guys heal the others, don't they? Yeah. yeah. They're good for getting extra style points on the others, but you want to prioritize these guys. Yeah. By the way, that's a human face in the middle of that thing. Yeah. What kind the of fuck? The monster designs in this game are fantastic. All right. Here's your basic launcher. Lock on with the end to the enemy by holding R1. Press back on the stick and press melee, which is triangle. And there's the color up system that I just explained. That oh yeah, that's right. The, the square buttons, your guns, triangles, your sword. Yep. Yep. Your guns, are, your guns are nowhere near as weak in this game compared to free. Or but you can not still use them to build up the, st the rank meter. Yeah. We now have... It's funny too, because it's like now it's a dismal, crazy, apocalyptic, badass, savage, six skills in smoking sexy style. Yeah. <laughs> well, what was the name of this one again? Red Queen? Red, Red Queen. Queen, yeah. Do you not understand? We cannot hope to do this without you. Because I, you're the main character. Yeah. <laughs> And Five the Griffin three. talks. Yeah. Yep. What? He is voiced by Brad Venable, who you might know from, uh, I think, the fairy tale anime. It's just smaller roles he does, but he's really good at what he does. I love Griffin. Right. Griffin is pretty much the humor yeah. in this game. The Deadpool of this game. Yeah. Okay then. There are some taunts I do. There is. I don't think I get the air guitar taunt. Which one wants to play? I think that's the only time I get that taunt in this playthrough, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the air guitar taunt does return in this, and it's hilarious. Because yeah. so, it just completely cancels out the music. So, any do you have any history that you can give us about the development of the game? Like, ever since, like, well, if we're going to go by Capcom, Devil May Cry, the last one they actually did before they came up with this was the reboot. Yeah. Well, they had it very well. Until Dan Southworth accidentally let slip uh -huh. <laughs> at the Devil May Cry reunion panel. He was like, I think it's great how it happened because now they're going to bring us back. We could say that, right? And Ruben was like, no. no. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> and at that time, they were working on this in some way. Didn't they show the first trailer and you were worried when you first saw the trailer and you saw how the character looked, you thought, oh my god, it's Dante again. Uh, as soon as I heard the voice, man, uh, the uh, tears start falling. Ah, like, the voice is what? So, so what, fucking happy. So when I first saw him with the mechanic, I was like, oh god, is it a reboot Nero? And then mm -hmm. it's like, no, no it's Johnny on board, so it was me. Like, oh, okay, good, it's proper. I would it's never accept anyone else as, jo as Nero at this point. Oh, and his lady. Yeah, Lady and Trish and Dante all flat on their ass. Kind of uh, <laughs> worrying, to say the least. Yep. Okay, who's the big man on his fancy throne this then? This is the new Demon King of the Underworld, Urizen. So Mundus is long gone at this point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you were wondering. There's. There can be more than one demon king. It's just a matter of who's in control at any given time. Right. What a fucked up face. You're rather quiet though. Sorry, Dante. Let's get this started, shall we? I'm bagging this bitch. This will be easy. He's quite versatile, cause in his handicap with one yeah, arm. Yeah, Nero's always fought most of the time with one arm. Actually. Yeah. The only problem is, is that. This asshole stole, ripped off Nero's arm, the Devil Bringer, which was the main source of, of his power, so now he can't use Devil Trigger. So he's kind of uh, <laughs> underpowered to say the So least. you're meant to lose in this bit, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. But you can indeed bag this bitch if you're good enough. I do show off that you can actually, if you're good enough, destroy the crystal and deal a lot of damage, but uh, I don't win the fight intentionally because I don't. If you do that, you, what happens? You get a funny joke ending where it just sort of says, peace, it rushingly says, peace has been restored to the world of the living. Everyone lived happily ever after. And yeah. there's like a rushed version of the credits Aye. and it just puts you back to the title screen. <laughs> but it does unlock the higher difficulties and I don't know if that would cause some unintended post-game unlocks. So uh, for the sake of not accidentally spoiling anything, I don't get the joke ending. Uh, okay. You do have to get it though, it's so so easy to do a post game, no believe Aye. Uh, well, you because you're maxed out at that point. Aye. Uh, uh, it's not just that, the abilities you get are amazing for post game as well. Like, believe me, we're only just getting started here. Oh, come on. You can slow down time too. Oh, he's using chaos control. Uh, Dante, can I get some help here? <coughs> uh, I think he can take him. 
Oh, come on, man. I only have one arm. <laughs> oh, you've been through worse. Yeah, fuck you, Dante. On that note, though, this is this is easily the darkest film we've right in the uh, series. This, well, was, this is the first one to be rated 18, actually. Well, considering how, uh, well, I would say one factor to that is how visually it looks within yeah. They're going to like with the designs of the demons and all that. Yeah. And the amount of blood that they've oh, got. Lots and lots of blood. Do you think Dante would make a good guest, guest for Dumbway Cro for Mortal Kombat then? Maybe. Probably. So, now, in terms of. This goes off a little bit, by the way, because it takes a while to destroy us. Aye. But for the basic part, Nero is. Yeah basic combos remain the same as Devil May Cry 4. You have your basic 1, 2, 3 slash, then his pause combo, which must be bought again, separately in the store. Now you, you can, I would imagine because you don't just start the game, you can only le level up the Red Queen just once. You can't even level up yet. You don't get access. Well, I meant by the three bars on the yeah, top yeah. right, yeah. Uh, yeah, later on, the max act, which fuels it all up in one go with perfect timing, does return. I think the timing might be the same as 4. But the the timing for adding one level of exceed is so much easier. Uh, like so as you see, at, as after my attacks, I'm pressing L2 to add one level of exceed. If once you get max act, if you time it perfectly, it adds all three. But you have to buy the upgrades first. Yeah, as you can see, he's quite fragile once you destroy the crystal. But then the crystal comes back. Yeah, uh, I think it does have even more health as well. Who's up next? Who's up next? <laughs> okay, so now, are you uh, attention gonna lose because you <coughs> meant to lose? Yeah. Now that I've shown that you can destroy the crap, no, I, I may I intentionally lose, although I try my hardest to make it look like I'm not intentionally trying to lose. <laughs> By walking into the laser. <laughs> what? That's not too bad. Better than being stabbed with my own sword, isn't it? Jesus, look you're covered in blood. Yeah, look the at blood the hair. shows up in the cutscenes actually. God damn. Ow. <laughs> Where were you this entire time, V? Preparing for my battle with Rey in Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, it's Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah it's Kylo Ren. He can't not see I love it. this camera shot here. It's like... Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that gif everywhere of, like, V just looking at Nero like that. I'm back, Ren. bitches. Yep, Dante's back. Oh, that's, that devil trigger. That's from Devil May Cry 4, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been spruced up for next gen. Right. So goddamn good. Yeah, the fact that Dante's having trouble with the guy, guy, I think, should tell you all you need to know. Yeah. And he's much more tense than usual, actually. Right. He's not happy go lucky now. Ow. <laughs> oh, you're dead weight. Ooh. There's the meme. Right. <laughs> Believe me, that's everywhere. Yeah. What, do they just rub it in? He knows that Nero can't do anything here, right. but he's being harsh here to like force Nero to retreat. Yeah. Johnny Lodge does such a good job with the emotion once right. more. I'd expect nothing less from Bullish v Britannia from Cody Yas. Please tell me that V's king here can also be used as a weapon. Yes. Yep. Okay. It's a, it functions like a sword, doesn't it? No. No. Oh. We'll get more into V. I thought he was going to be like a Master Yoda in a way, where no. he shows his weak banana and all of a sudden he's... He's more a puppeteer type of fighter. Okay. Talk about Yoda. Does he bring the seagulls? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it now. Well, there is Griffin, so that's the yeah, closest one you can get to a seagull. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that. I think that sums up. Rep Rebellion, yep. 2005 to 2019. Yep. That was Devil May Cry 3. Three, yeah. Yeah. Three days. And that's it. Re rebellion is gone. Never Damn. to be seen again. You served me well, old friend. And with Dante having his ass thoroughly kicked, like nothing we've ever seen before, who knows what's going to happen to him now. Yeah. Next cousin, he's dead. <laughs> well, it's going to be kind of hard to have a Devil May Cry game without your main hero. <laughs> well, they, they tried that with Devil May Cry 4, but then they just had to shoot him in. I mean, no. Uh, now you're probably wondering what the hell that giant golem like thing is. That is Nightmare, a familiar that V can summon. Also oh. notice his hair turns white when he uses it. 
So yeah. Yeah. We too failed. bad. We can't. Yeah. Too bad, citizens. We can't help you. <laughs> Waste of time. Nero, Go home. Nero is absolutely fucking devastated by it because there is nothing like Nero. One character trait Nero shares along with Virgil that he absolutely hates feeling helpless. Uh. So he's also really, really pissed off with what Dante said to him, call him dead weight. Essentially saying, you're useless. You can do. But it's da I don't think Dante meant it to say it in that way. Well, Dante, I would, I don't yeah. imagine that Dante character is well, one of the family friendly kind of person. Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do here. So we're just gonna let this demon thing they consume the they citizens. They're not powerful enough to do anything about it. Right, they can't stop it. So. And if they do hang about, who knows what else is going to uh, jump out and right. destroy them. This is actually one of the hardest missions to get S rank on, by the way, when you're just starting out, so I kind of got really lucky Okay, with that. there's one thing I've noticed here. You're not time, your rank is not based on time right. anymore. Glorious, glorious game design. <laughs> All the way through with us. Yep. What, now we're getting into yeah, the intro? Yeah, that was a prologue. <laughs> yeah. This was one of the first things they showed off at All E3. Right. When you saw the van, you're like, "Oh god, here we go! Is this another? Is this a sequel to the reboot?" When we, from the first, when the trailer first aired, like a lot of people thought it was going to be Earth Defense Force or something. Uh, and then the Capcom logo comes up, right. and my, I just, my eyes just widen. I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and then Nero starts talking and Johnny on Bosch voice. That's when uh, I, I fell apart emotionally. Like I am not sure if my eyes bought my eyes out of happiness at that trailer. This is a new character uh, introduced in this game, Nico. She, uh, her grandmother, I believe, we will learn more about later. Nell Goldstein. Uh, she made everybody in ivory. Okay. And here's another little detail. She's Agnes's father. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 Agnes's daughter. Sorry, got that mixed up. Uh, what the fuck? That guy with the monocle? Yeah. The stuttering guy. Yeah. Don't ask how. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's mind has gone to unpleasant places. Uh, he might not have even known himself, but like, because he said he had battened in her mother, so maybe he might have left yeah. before she was born or something. Who knows? There you go. Don't smoke, kids. Yeah. It's so weird to see Nero looking like Dante. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nico. Okay. <laughs> I love the sense of humor this uh, game has. Uh, Here's uh, our main vocal theme. Devil Trigger. Devil Trigger. Yeah. I, this is my favorite song of 2019 in terms of the game. Oh my groove! I be a badass with one with one hand. Oh, it's yeah. gonna get even better. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? No, we're not here for your karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> we're not I'm here for karaoke. About the party over a decade in the making. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this show started. Yep. Okay, this is cool. Okay, imagine this is a live action movie. Uh, it almost looks just uh, as good yeah. because of the photorealistic boot. I'm visuals. reminded of Deadpool actually, the way this opening credits so. uh, are. I'm trying to remember who's the artist. Ali Edwards uh, is the vocalist for uh, yeah. Devil Trigger. I like this. Yeah. Keep an eye on the, the sign he shot there. I uh, noticed that Nero has some sort of attachment on his right arm yeah. now. Oh, the sign now. Ah, uh, sign. Uh, Antiques. Yeah. And that one in the background that he's just covering up now. Um, splat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Love this. So Nico likes her cigarette sign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, see, I'm going to close yeah, I'm not wasting one of these fuckers! <laughs> well, why? Well, she loves smoking, why don't she move to vaping? Ah, yeah. yeah. oh, Nico. Why do I have to smell that everywhere you go? It's almost like, nah, oh, you know what, forget it. Can you imagine? I'll just do my thing. Okay, that would, that's pretty much a magnum. Can you imagine that in the Resident Evil game? It is a magnum. Uh, <laughs> the insurance. <laughs> but can you imagine that as like one of the high power weapons you get by doing a secret mission yeah. in the Resident Evil yeah. game? <laughs> Movie director. What? I thought this was a game. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are cutscenes, and they they are they do play out like a movie. Yeah. Dire game director Hideaki Itsuno, you magnificent bastard! You. Yeah. Without <laughs> him, we would not have this game. 
because he had to put his foot down considering Cap got a while back. And near, near did all that flipping and still managed to land back in the car. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I forgot. Here, let me light your cigarette for you. Yep. Okay, keep that window open, will ya? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love this coming up here. Oh, the bottom yes, of the screen. Good. This, this game does not promote smoking or use of cigarettes. It's even on the ground <laughs> and shot. Oh. I love how it says, hey, my god. I, I think that might be yeah. a Street Fighter reference. Yeah, the, the, five. Uh, right. By the way, the theme that we heard uh, right at the title screen, da, 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 that's the old Capcom startup sound effect right. for SNES games. What we tried. What, uh, what, what do you think of them when your me basic military is going to stand? No well, chance they are against those demons. Killing them, actually, see? Yeah. That one just went out. But of course, these are the. Patrick the Sites, no! <laughs> <laughs> this one so yeah, this one soldier is voiced by Patrick Sites. Right. Who I know is Ichigo's Scorpion. father from Bleach. What's going on? Yeah. The irony, Ichigo Kurosaki saving his own father. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Sites voices his father in Bleach. Uh, Hey, at least they actually gave him a mouth animation rather than like generic soldiers with a cover. It's all mo cap again. So. <laughs> you're not gonna get one from me. Better get lost. <laughs> hey, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you forget. He doesn't know who Nero is though. Nah. <laughs> you hear what I said? You dumb one armed son of a bitch! You're gonna die. Can you imagine the Scorpion that's saying that? Uh, <laughs> cheer up, crew cut. Oh, that's. Is a new weapon designed for Nero after he lost the Devil Breaker to your in. The Devil Breaker. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, badass. Robot oh, oh, oh. arm is badass. <laughs> okay, that is cool. Yep. Imagine this adds more gameplay elements compared to what the previous arm did. Oh yeah. Yes. It does. Devil Breaker. Press circle to perform the current Devil Breaker's attack. If you get hit while attempting to use it, it will be destroyed. Yeah. If uh, you hold circle until you hear electrics crackling, you'll know it's happening because uh, once you hold circle or B long enough, the Devil Breaker will start flashing non-stop and if you release the button then you'll perform a breakage attack. That is much stronger but it will destroy the Devil Breaker. Uh, ah, so that's the rescue that has to The only problem uh, with the Devil Breaker is though you have to not be locking oh. on it. <laughs> Please yeah. tell me you can get this. You can do this shit. This in the is game. Asen the this essentially oh, replaces the the grab mechanic of the Devil Bringer. You know how you can pull them towards you with the Devil Bringer? Right, yeah. That's the wire snatch. <laughs> Maybe the soul just shot. I love the soul. Like he has no yeah. idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> He's like, what even is today? This cutscene <laughs> sets up the fact that these things can actually be destroyed. Hey, stop and take one arm going. Now, uh, we start off with, I believe, three or four capacity for the Devil Breaker, but you can buy more upgrades for it later to carry more. Here's the wire snatch. This replaces the, the Devil Bringer grab. By the, uh, by the way, are we in London? Because I, I can tell by the bus. I think that's what it was based on. Ah, I think it's kind of based on what kind of... Now, what you just saw there, breakaway, uh, if you press L1, you'll destroy the current devil break you have, but it gives you a huge window of invincibility, so if you know you're going to get hit by an attack, you can destroy right. it. I'm going to show it off in a little bit, though, because on the lower difficulties, you can pick up devil breakers around the area. Oh, so you just walk up to them, you don't but have to press a yeah, button? But if your magazine is full, you can't pick it up. Here's the other thing, you cannot willingly switch between the Devil Breakers. Uh, so you, so whatever one you're stuck with is... Aye. So. Yeah, and the next one you see, you see there there's another uh, Devil Breaker that lets you kind of shuffle which ones are coming next, but you have no direct control over mm. which one... This break. one, the one I'm currently the one I'm currently using is Overture, which harnesses the power of the electricity from the Blitz in Devil May Cry 4. Remember that annoying asshole? Oh, uh, the one I, what was it, I called it a speed. It jumped all over the fucking Aye. place. Aye. Kind of like, I did not comment saying it was like the Flash. The flash. Right. Yeah, the Speed Force. <laughs> <laughs> Tapped into the Speed Force. Well, that messed up the timeline, like Barry Allen as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Barry, stop <laughs> screwing it up. Who the hell is this Barry guy? <laughs> okay, so the red one, what does these do? Make bank! Smack the hell out of these guys to get a shit ton yep. of red orbs. They will try and escape, and if they escape, you will, uh, too bad, no red orb oh, back for, for you. But, oh, is that a blue orb I see? Yeah, yep. Blue orb fragment. Every hit you deal to the red Empusa causes it to drop red orb. Destroy it completely and you'll get a significant gain. 
Nero, what are you doing? Money! Yeah. The breakaway for the devil breaker where you destroy it counts as a separate attack. By the way, the style system pretty much works oh, the same. Gerbera GP01. I think this is one of the DLC ones. I yeah. think it functions a little differently. Gerbera is a devil breaker yeah. that lets you jump all over the air and it's awesome. You can even parry projectiles with it. Yeah. Oh, cool. If you time it right, you could actually parry specific uh, melee attacks as well. I do show that off at least once in the playthrough. Yeah, and it's charged yeah. attack is the laser, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just amazed that the RE engine of all engines can do this. Oh, I have a right. funny fail coming up here soon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Nero go boom! Ah, uh, memories! The problem, though, is that <laughs> that cancels out the dialogue. Basically, yeah. what you were saying is, why are they collecting blood? It's not just about feeding, it's something else. Yeah. So the demons are gathering human blood for something. So you started to say that no. and then wound up thinking, now I know how Luigi feels. No, the collected blood for Dracula. Right. <laughs> Christopher Lee, rest in peace. Oh, I, thought he was talking. I thought he would be referring to Castlevania. I was going to say something called Bell once. <laughs> what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. Have at you. <laughs> Who's our four? Oh, Did you see um, the, the death battle to the Dracula versus Ganondorf? No. Dracula wins. <laughs> yeah, because of the resurrection, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, so Ganondorf's got the Triforce of Power, uh, Dracula's got the Chaotic Realm. So. Oh, that's cool. You do whatever Devil Brainer you have is Devil shown Brainer, in, yeah. in, in the, the game. Like, in yeah, the it's cutscenes. awesome, actually. Even the, color, the different EX colours, like the white costume you saw at the start of the game yeah. on the options for, mate, for Nero, <coughs> that shows up too. Now the game tells you how to use the Exceed system. I would recommend not running around pressing L2 non-stop though, because it's better to just uh, charge it up at the end of an attack. I missed my time in there, I thought I was going to attack. So you could dodge in the air, yeah? No, the, that's talking about the side roll. Oh, okay, so you can't dodge in the air while jumping. Right. No, unless you have no, that's one of the advantage of the Unique Garbra. Garbra. Yeah. Uh, okay. And by the way, half the dialogue that comes out of Nero's mouth during these fights is just fucking feel for the hype train. Also, I meant to say, what the fuck is this thing? The Clyf. This is our first main boss, Clyfod Roots. Right. These come from a demonic tree called right. the Clyfod. Swing and a miss. Demonic plant, basically. <laughs> you mean a demonic whomping willow? Basically. Imagine plant part two, only somehow even worse. Uh, some uh, created by some schmuck fucking with a virus you should be fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, the, I get the, the basic attacks for the roots are kind of telegraphed actually. They have a lot of start off, but. Well, what a way to finish they off. They do like to delay right. the, the, the. Yeah, that's one thing the bosses, and this one does so the final hit, it'll slow down, zoom in on you, and, or all, your character. All battles actually do that, just like the Dante's game actually. Alright. They do take a few cues from the Dante's game, actually. For us, like the style announcer shouts whatever the right. the current style is when you first reach it. Well, to be fair, wasn't the gameplay one of the better aspects of that one? Yeah. Although it when it first launched, there was no lock on. Right. <laughs> it's like yeah, that was the in the definitive edition. Like that yeah. Was. <clears throat> Basically, the we are sorry edition. Right. Yeah, Mato did this. Yeah, because Nero's lost the Devilbringer. He's right. lost he lost Yamato. Yeah, because remember, yeah. he absorbed that into mm -hmm. the Devilbringer at the end of Devil May Cry 4. Here we're going to find out how This is lost. a flashback, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Two, Two months ago. <laughs> Back in happier times. So, one month before the prologue. The Texas accent is a bit eh for Nico, for me. Yeah, I think Nico first met Nero looking for like documents from the Order. Alright. Hey, Was that Kyrie I just heard? Yeah, yeah, Kyrie. We don't see her in this game, which is kind you. of annoying, actually. I would have at least liked to see what she looks like in this. But hey, at Steph. least they got the original actress to come back yeah. and do a voice role. Yeah, Stephanie Shea, who I know is Hinata from Naruto and Orihime from Bleach. Yeah. Those are my two favorite roles she's done. She's also Histoire in Hyperdimension Neptunia. You, uh, you need something? Kind of ominous, actually. This, whoever this is, they don't say anything. Well, not yet, anyway. One of the things Kyrie and Nero like to do, they like to... I think they provide uh, temporary food and relief for the homeless. Or orphans, I believe. Yeah, that totally isn't a bad sign at all. Yeah. That's the Emperor! <laughs> do it. I need more power. My apprentice. Did you see those cuffs on the arm? No, I didn't. 
Well, he's, he's wearing a big black cloak, so... Yeah. Cloak, so... He drops a kind of hint as to who he is. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Ow. Oh. There's that delayed Jesus. reaction. Yeah. I love all the memes people make of, like, Untitled Goose doing this. Aye. Where is it? I'm gonna take two guesses as to who else is able to use your mantle. That that's Virgil, isn't it? Yeah. Well, like I said I he did say he was taking it back. So. How the fuck? The last time we saw him, like, he was Neil Angelo in Devil May Cry One. That may explain his condition. You'll have to wait and find out. And also, we may yet get some answers about Nero as well in this game. Hype, ain't it? But right. yeah, that was. <laughs> he got Nero got fucked off. No wonder he's using the he's resorted from magic to robotics. Yeah. <laughs> and he's past. He's looking. He's not only in this to stop the threat. He's also out for vengeance. Yeah. Don't don't be surprised, folks. Because again, I may have edited all this for Steam, but I didn't watch the entire playthrough, so I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's been torture for him. Yeah. Well, the party's just started, folks. But believe me, we're only just getting started. We'll see you guys in the next part.